welcome to another segment of East TV with myself, Sean Dowling, and our Head of Markets Analysis, Martin Smith, to talk about Eastern Partners Business Banking Index. Marty, can you tell us what the Business Banking Index is? Yeah, it's a uh, research program uh, based on interviews with a thousand CFOs and treasurers every two months. Uh, and really what we're looking at is sentiment towards the banks. Uh, and we gauge that by looking at four major contributors there. We ask them about uh, their satisfaction with the bank, their loyalty to their bank, uh, also uh, their empathy uh, for, towards their bank, uh, but also importantly advocacy as well, how willing they're, they're looking to recommend their bank in, in certain instances there. But we do find it is a, an excellent predictor of customer engagement and behaviour towards their bank. Uh, and we find uh, that one of the key factors, their loyalty, is, is one of, one of the, the major aspects that is under pressure at the moment. But what are some of the key highlights from the latest round? Yeah, well, what we found is uh, customer engagement uh, is, is very much reactive for a majority of the banks. So uh, a number of the banks, instead of being proactive and, and looking to, to interact with uh, businesses, are instead just responding to client queries or feedback. So uh, we, asked, uh, we asked every round uh, how often they interacted with the bank this last month. Uh, less than 25% have had contact with the bank. And it really was restricted to, to customers of Suncorp, uh, Commonwealth Bank, Bank of Queensland, uh, they, they were actively uh, dealing with their banks. So uh, th there is a real uh, interaction story there and, and definitely we see digital disruption is important, uh, the, the actual mediums by which businesses uh, deal with the bank. But uh, you know, loyalty is definitely under pressure and although we haven't seen customer churn really start to pick up, uh, some of those uh, customer churn intentions are really rising uh, and we feel that that's definitely going to have an impact on say uh, NAB who does perform uh, actually the best out of the big four mm -hmm. in terms of customer sentiment but given it is the, uh, the largest lender to, to the business segment, uh, obviously they're the most susceptible to any kind of customer churn there or, or customer dissatisfaction. How do subscribers apply some of these insights? Yeah, well, each round, uh, subscribers to the program are invited to, to lodge private questions, mm -hmm. uh, which are of the moment and can look at uh, important themes. So in this last round, uh, we placed a query there saying, uh, we know that working capital constraints are an issue. Uh, what effectively is constraining you from accessing credit? Uh, and for 70% of micro businesses, it was simply the case that uh, the credit approval turnaround times were too long. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, the, the, the actual approval process was delayed. Uh, institutional enterprises, most of them are well capitalised, they've got access to all the credit they need. So there is a real disparity there. And uh, we also found that why haven't you considered non-bank alternatives? Uh, most were dissatisfied but simply hadn't looked beyond their, their initial bank uh, or they had an existing lending structure based on, on their home or, or said collateral there. So uh, the, the way those uh, insights are, are applied are in an internal strategic review capacity mm -hmm. but also in an external marketing based uh, insight as well. So so they are unique insights and uh, really uh, it's important to, to understand what CFOs and treasurers are, are looking for from their business bank. And what's the frequency of that report? Each, uh, each two months we release the findings mm -hmm. and uh, we're in the market actively speaking with those, those CFOs and treasurers. It is a national sample as well. Uh, so the results are effectively cut by uh, their primary business bank, also where they're based. Mm -hmm. So we can see if New South Wales businesses are happier than Queensland which they're not, uh, they're very unhappy as are Victorian businesses. Uh, and we can also then uh, look at uh, business size. So we find that small businesses are incredibly uh, dissatisfied with their, their business banking experience, as opposed to the corporate segment, which are actually relatively happy uh, with, their, with their offering. Great, thank you so much for your time, Annie. Look forward to talking to you next time.